government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. I'm going to finish that Van Jones clip in the next segment as we get Richard Gage on to get into 9-11 Truth. Also, coming up in the next segment, I want to comment briefly on Barack Obama wanting to address the youth. He's been very, very deceptive, and that's the plan. But before I do that, I just want to give all the listeners a heads up. Not tomorrow, but Tuesday, we're going to have something really important happen on the show. And it is the biggest thing we've ever done on this radio show. The most important, the most effective, the most far-reaching. And it's guaranteed to be out by Tuesday. If I get spooked by anything or anything goes on, I'm going to launch it simultaneously on other servers, other places, early. It's ready. In fact, if certain people don't hear from me on a routine basis, it's launched everywhere. So just be ready for that. Any time in the next uh, 48 hours, really less now, any time in the next 35 hours or so, 35 to 40 hours. Uh, it's very important. It's going to be big. And just keep your eyes and ears peeled uh, for that coming up. Also, and it's not related to the flu. Separately, the flu. To have the company's filings and their patents, talking to governments about releasing weaker versions of the virus into the atmosphere, as a type of group herd immunity for our own good. And then, oh my gosh, the, it actually mutates into something more deadly. And they've got a vaccine for you. And the World Health Organization is just admitting this calmly. We've got to force this out and do the media as a major issue. We've got to do this now. This is of paramount. Paramount importance. And so we're uh, working on those stories as well. And then there's other tidbits of important news, like Obama regulations are advocated removing people's organs without explicit consent, cyber news service, and it's got his quotes. Ties into all the other eugenics. Taliban bombs came from U.S., not Iran. It's now admitted that the... Sunnis in Iraq have been given bombs to bomb our own troops. That's been declassified. It's been declassified. The Taliban and Al-Qaeda are funded continually up until 9-11 and after. Sybil Edmonds, uh, FBI translator, running that the FBI, uh, that the CIA was running Al-Qaeda up until 9-11, till the day. Now the Asia Times... In support of the official United States assertion that Iran is aiming... It's sworn, an arming its sworn enemy, the Taliban, the head of the office of the director of national intelligence. Dennis Blair has cited a statement by a Taliban commander last year attributing military success against North Atlantic Treaty Organization forces to Iranian military assistance. When Mohammed Karzai, the U.S. puppet, says no, Iran is helping fight the Taliban. That's the Sunni, the opposite of the Shiite Iranian government. What the Taliban commanders claim is contradicted by evidence from U.S. Defense Department, Canadian forces in Afghanistan, and the Taliban themselves, that the increased damage to NATO tanks and Taliban forces has come from anti-tank missiles provided by the United States. So see, how is the United States, people who control us, going to stay in Afghanistan to get the $500 billion a year in opium? They're going to kill our own troops as a pretext to stay there. Real simple. They manufacture the terror. This is Alex.